Oh, hi. Like a short discussion on the pH of an acid, and I've got HCl written up on the board, which is one of our strong acids, and we'll do a weak acid in just a moment. On the center board here, I have a list of three strong acids, hydrochloric, sulfuric, and nitric, and all three of these are strong acids. We label them strong acids because they have something in common. They dissociate 100%. So every single one of these goes through a reaction in one direction, 100%. And let's take a look at how that works for this problem. We're interested in calculating the pH of 0.150 molar hydrochloric acid. So a student mixes it up to be 0.150 molar HCl in water. Everything's aqueous here. But in truth, there is no HCl present because as soon as it's made, it dissociates. The reaction goes 100% to the right. So I went ahead and indicated that each of these concentrations, proton and chloride, is 0.150 molar. Now the pH calculation is really simple for this. pH is equal to take the log of the proton concentration and then change the sign. So I plug this in and we have a pH of 0.824. On the board behind here, I've set up the identical problem, calculate the pH of 0.150 molar oops, acetic acid and acetic acid is a weak acid. So on the center board here, have a list of three strong acids and one weak acid, and the weak acid is a COOH group, and the COOH group can be attached to anything at all, anything that we want. So CH3 in this case is attached to COOH. I have equilibrium, forward and reverse arrows. We make this species called acetate ion and proton. Now we don't have the luxury of writing, oh, all of this goes to completion. We know that this is 0.150 molar because that's not the case. So we make up an equilibrium table, and essentially what that's telling us is the concentration of this is 0.150 molar, but it's a reactant, so over time some of it's gonna go away, so we call it minus x. Over time, we're making some of the product. Since the stoichiometry is one mole, gives one mole, gives one mole, this is going to be plus x, and this is going to be plus x. We go to the web, we go to a textbook, and we look up the equilibrium constant for this. And I found that Ka is equal to 1.8 times 10 to the negative fifth, which is equal to products over reactants, which is equal to x times x, which I can write as x squared, over 0 0.150 minus x. 0 0.150 minus x. Solving for x, we'd need to use the quadratic formula. We're not going to. We're going to use an approximation and throw this x value out. So let me put a larger x through there saying, that's a comparison to the number 0.150. x is gonna be small, we'll throw it out. We'll solve for x. The reason we're gonna solve for x is because x gives us the concentration of H+, plus, which is what we're after. We can get at the pH that way. So my problem reduces to 1.8 times 10 to the negative fifth is equal to x squared over 0 0.150. I cross multiply, take the square root. And I solve for x being equal to the H plus concentration right here. And that's equal to 0 0.0016. I plug this into the pH calculation, and the pH is equal to negative log of H plus, or the negative log of 0 0.0016. I come up with 2.78. As expected, the pH of the weak acid is higher than the pH of the strong acid with the same concentration because we don't have as much proton present. Let me also point out a problem we'll be doing shortly, and that's going to be involving bases. Our strong base is hydroxide, or OH minus, and our weak base is a nitrogen with a lone pair of electrons on there. We call it an amine group, an amine group.